Today in this session we are going to explain how IFRS 16 will be accounted with Odo 15 Enterprise module and um, IFRS 16 has two treatments uh, it is with the LACI and the LACI will be considered uh, LACI will be treating the asset like a right of use asset and uh, one liability will be there for him that is the LACI liability and uh, we will make sure that uh, under the chart of accounts whether um, IFR 16 accounts has been automatically configured by our ODO. So we can go through it. So in the first time, in the first step, we need to go through the accounting. And under the configuration, we need to go through the chart of accounts. And here in the search bar, we need to search for IFR 16. And you can see that the accounts has been, the account types has been, has been uh, defaultly set up by Odo. And make sure that only these three accounts will be, these three accounts will be set up by Odo in default. One, two, and three. That is the right of use asset, the accumulated depreciation right use asset, and the IFR 16 lease liabilities. This one I had created by my own. Okay, and here in the next step, we will see how the journal has been passed towards it. So, for that, we need to create an asset model under the configuration. You can see the asset models. I had already created an asset model of IOR 16, and uh, I'm opening it up here. I had created the asset model like IFR 16 and I had mentioned the depreciation model in straight line. Either you can go in straight line declining or declining then straight line. But in IFR 16 mostly it will be going in straight line only. And the duration how I assumed how I how I assumed how the duration is going to happen is that the time the time framework between easy and the lesser that is the duration over here and the pro rata temperatures means it will be uh, the accounting will start from the date of my entry that means the date of uh, right of use asset entry in odo towards my financial year's closing date that is mean by pro rata temperatures and towards these parts in the fixed asset account i had parted it towards right of use asset that has been defaultly created by Odoo and that will be under fixed assets. Okay, the type will be under fixed assets. Okay, I'm saving it up. And here the depreciation account is over here. And uh, this has been posted towards accumulated depreciation right of use asset. And again, the type will be under fixed asset. Okay. And the expense account is being towards a depreciation on right of use asset under IFR 16 and that has been posted towards expenses under the type of expenses okay, I'm saving it up and the journal should be with IFR 16 right of use asset you can see that there are so many journals are there there are tax adjustments miscellaneous operations etc and with we need to choose IFR 16 right of use assets only okay and we can save it up in the next step we are going to pass a journal entry for the same over here it's already been passed you can see that it has already passed and the journal entry is been there can you edit it for you in the reference I had mentioned I have had a 16 over here and in the journal again I had chosen IFR 16 right of use of it okay and uh, I had debited my right of use asset and I had credited my lease liabilities over here. You can see over here I had debited my right of use asset over here and I had credited my lease liabilities over here. Okay. And now I'm going to see how it's and aside towards that you also need to create one more journal entry that is in again gee 
or NL IFR 16 with counting data for today's date and the journal will be towards IFR 16 right of use as it and that's the rent and the account will be I need to create an account for for rent expense it's already over here the office rent is already over here but I need to create one for an I need to get that code that is 416 okay so we are going to create a new one 420 that will be rent IFR is 16 and the type will be under expenses I am not using the default taxes over here I'm saving it up okay the code is to be changed so okay it got saved and in the label I'm saying that rent of right of use asset ROU in the short form and I'm going to debit my amount of 500 and over here it's been by cash and it's over here and I'm going to post it and it's saved okay and after this I'm going to create how my how my depreciation is calculated for this so I'm going to my assets under that you can see already one is already set over here both are being set it and I'm going to do it I'm going to edit it up where I had mentioned how it's going to be accounted over here the original value was 10,000 real and uh, we can see the depreciation account of right of use asset the expense account is being mentioned that has been already carried forward from there in our asset model that is the depreciation on right of use asset and uh, later it has been gone with pro rata date and you can see the depreciation has been calculated over here just saving it up you can see the posted entries over here and you can see that this entry will be in draft mode you can see why is it in draft mode the entry will be moved automatically on the year ending date on my financial year ending date so till that time it will be in the draft okay and we can see that how it has been in my balance sheet and all so I'm going to my balance sheet over here and you can see my plus fixed asset it falls with my FR16 account let me try to open it up you can see my right of use asset over here in the balance sheet and in my current liabilities also my liability for 2500 over here okay rest all the postings will be fallen over here by the respective time that has been by the respective date that has been mentioned over there okay and that's all for the general entries for IFR 16 in Odo. I wish you all a good day. Thank you.